On Saturday, I was ready to drive to Philadelphia to see some art when I realized that my street was flooded and I was trapped. Damn it, I was really looking forward to this. I guess in real life, you can't always get what you want. Gross McCleave Gallery was holding openings for two wonderful painters. Fortunately, the floodwaters were seeded by noon and off I went. Jeffrey Reed is a master landscape artist who was showing studies that he made on a recent trip to Ireland. Ben Passione paints intricate and dazzling abstractions. His evocative work is incredibly rich and varied in texture, color, and paint quality. Neither artist is rich or famous, but to me, they define what it means to be an artist. Though their styles and subjects vary greatly, they share a dedication, a relentless work ethic, and a commitment to craftsmanship and honest expression. For them, it's not about selling art, though it's great when that happens. What truly counts is the making of their work, being part of the Philadelphia artist community, and living an authentic, creative life. For Jeff and Ben, art is freedom and the beautiful work they make is a gift to all of us who see it. So let's take a look. Remember, the landscapes are by Jeff and the abstractions are by Ben. These guys get up in the morning, they set out their brushes and paint, and they work. And they do that year after year after year. It's not some hobby, it's the way they live. For true artists, working is like breathing, an absolute necessity. And have no doubt 
The world needs to see itself reflected in the eyes of its true artists. Another thing that artists Ben Passion and Jeff Reed share in common is that they both have certificates from the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. As do I. This brings up the shocking but unsurprising news from last week that the Academy will be dropping its BFA and MFA degree programs and reinstating its certificate program, which was dropped in 2017. I have made many movies about artists with Academy certificates. They are all like Jeff and Ben, fundamentally. For them, art is not a job, but a calling and a way of life. Oh, some of you are thinking, John really needs a fact checker. Ben does indeed have an Academy certificate, but Jeff doesn't. Not to worry, that is easily rectified. Unlike in real life, we artistic souls can get anything we want and make anything happen in the life of our imaginations. Just give me a second. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Jeff, uh, can you say the word yes, please? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> well, just say the word yes by itself. Yes. Okay, that's very helpful. Jeffrey Reed, are you paying attention? Yes. Good. By the power vested in me by me from my 2018 Academy Distinguished Alumni Service Award, I hereby award you an honorary certificate from the Academy. Will you accept this award? Yes. And in so doing, live up to all the requirements of good artistry that it requires? Yes. Okay, you now have your certificate. The Pennsylvania Academy gave me the best educational experience of my life. Facebook is filled with alumni who are hoping the best for the future of the Academy. Here's my friend, certificate holder, Nick Harris. Nick is a true artist and loves the Academy. We were talking on the phone the other day, and you have some really good ideas about the Academy, which I clearly agree with. And I'm going to ask you to uh, read them. Well, the decision to terminate the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts recently established degree programs will be a difficult transition for the students and faculty in those programs. It's reassuring that Mr. Pryor and the administration have announced their intention to restore the Academy's historic mission by reinstating the certificate program. For folks outside of the Academy community, the certificate program discontinued in 2017 was rooted in the changes that Thomas Aikens brought to his alma mater when he returned to teach there. As it evolved, it provided two unique qualities that explain why so many alumni hope the effort to restore the certificate program will succeed. The certificate program had a compelling pedagogical quality. It was an undiluted educational experience focused exclusively on technical courses and the various skills artists need to create art intensive studio experience exercising and developing those skills, and formal and informal critical exchanges with the faculty and other students, which tested and refined the ability to create not only the form, but also the meaning and content of an art object. The second critical quality of the certificate program had a compelling practical significance. It was affordable. Artists do not make money, artists make art. Clearly, the Academy must deal with its financial realities, but so does every artist, every student, every alumni of the institution. I hope that the Academy, freed of the administrative overhead involved in meeting the requirements of a degree program, 
will be able to provide an affordable educational experience that allows its students to emerge unburdened by a crippling debt. Hear, hear, Nick. I couldn't agree more. And I think I can speak on behalf of our fellow certificate holders, Ben and Jeff. Right, Jeff? Yes. You guys, terrific shows. Keep up the good work. Thanks, sir. You can see the work of these two wonderful painters in person at Gross McLeaf through February 3rd, 2024. And long live the Academy's resurrected certificate program. <laughs>